In his address to the American public, President Trump urging allies, as well as Russia and China, to come together and forge a new deal to keep nuclear weapons from Iran. The White House brief, briefing senators at this hour on the conflict after a meeting with members of the House earlier, including my next guest, Congressman Roger Williams of Texas. Congressman, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Charles. I, 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 I suspect a fair amount of what you just saw was, was confidential or cl uh, classified uh, yeah. as secret, but please share with the audience do you come away now with the feeling that uh, that the, taking out uh, Soleimani was the right thing to do? Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, we did find out that the president uh, had uh, a, a lot of information. He made a, he made a very measured decision in taking out a terrorist that had blood all over his hands, uh, over killing our young men and women. And he made the right decision. I did it in a business-like manner. He's a business guy, and so I think that uh, I think w what we learned today. He certainly made the right decision. Now, now, despite the the feeling of de-escalation in the air, uh, everyone understands that Iran still has a certain goal in the region, and they still probably will continue provocative acts, uh, including uh, going to cyber attacks. And I know that you, part of your that part of your committee deals with uh, the financial world, and I'm just curious as to how vulnerable we are because that's what all the experts keep saying that they can hurt us the most with a cyber attack. Well, a cyber attack is something you have to constantly worry about, and I, get, and I think you have to go into any any game, any any deal that you that you might have some weaknesses, and and uh, uh, we're working on that and talking about it. Uh, but uh, but the main thing is we're not afraid of it; we're aware of it. I think that's important. Do you come away with this now, uh, thinking perhaps Nancy Pelosi, who put the idea out there of limiting or curbing President Trump's war powers, may not go through with that after all? Well, I, I don't see how it can. I mean, I, I, I don't know if they have a way to make it work. Uh, uh, the president made the correct decision, he, and now we're, uh, we're, we're probably safer than we were if, if this guy was still around, if this terrorist was still around. So uh, I think they've made, a, they've made a bad calculation there. The president's got to be able to lead. He's the commander in chief. He made a decision. I support him on that decision, and it was the right decision. Look, I've, I've been over there. I represent Fort Hood, and I, I've been over in, in Iraq, and I was there at the at the. I've, I've been at the bases that were attacked. I've been in the embassy. I know about the weapons we have and how committed these young men and women are. And we have to stand with them, and the president's doing that, and I think he's showing great strength. Congressman, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you, Charles.